Think of when you've been to the grocery store or any store. You ever seen packages? What's a, what's a package that you've seen, Luz? Mm, I've seen like a package, packages of shirts. Awesome. That's stuff that I've seen at the store too. I've always wondered though, who designs a package? Who makes that? Let's brainstorm some ideas of what, what package engineers might do. Wrap, wrap up food. Ooh, that's a good one. And um, Luz, you said they might make packages for shirts. Ooh. What are some other packages you could think of? What's another one, Elijah? It's kind of like a, like, where people, like, they send out letters, but it's really a package, like, when they, like, want to send something to their friends. Oh, like if you mail something. Ooh, that's one I didn't think of. And let's do one more. What's another one? Musa. A package of um, apples. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm glad you mentioned fruit because we are going to be reading a story about a little boy in a country named Jordan. Anybody ever heard of Jordan before? Yeah. Well, not, not Michael Jordan. This is a country. I knew somebody would think Michael Jordan. This is a country, and it's the country of Jordan. Put your finger on that country, on that little colored end spot. That is Jordan. We're going to use our pencil, and we're going to shade in the United States, where we live. Picture of our book is up on the screen, a little bitty picture, but we've got a couple of questions we want to ask, be thinking about before we read our book. And these are our pre-reading thinking questions. The story is called The Gift from Fadil. What do you think the story will be about? Turn to an elbow partner, a neighbor sitting next to you, and tell them what do you think the story A Gift from Fadil will be about? He, I bet he's going to give somebody a gift. I don't know if he'll give the whole country of Jordan a gift or not, though, but he may give someone a gift. Have you ever given a gift to someone? Just, if you have, give me the yes signal. Awesome. Turn to a neighbor and tell a neighbor what you gave someone. What was something you gave someone? Oh, did she like it? Chapter one, wedding worries. For the hundredth time that night, Fadil felt a laugh rising from his belly and blending with the laughter of his I know that, that Bashira was upset, but why do you think Bashira might not want Ikhlas to get married? Um, she, might be, she might be sad because she thinks her sister might forget about her. Oh my gosh, you know, I bet so too. He turned and looked down at the amaryllis. The pure white flowers seemed to glow in the moonlight. So we'll probably just have to dig up an amaryllis and replant it in the pot, Fadil thought. How hard could it be? What I want you to think about is, do you think Fadil's idea to create a present to remind Ikhlas of her family is a good one? Yes. Turn and tell a neighbor why or why not that is a good idea. It's a good idea, so well, I think it's a bad idea because the flower will die. That's her idea. Oh, well, will it always die, though? Yes, it keeps watering it. Yeah. Do they need to take care? Ah, and Terry, you had, your answer to that question was really good. Well, will you share your answer? I said it's a good idea because it'll always remember, um, she'll always remember them by the stuff they give her. Awesome. Aunt Rasha worked with packages for her job. When he was younger, Fadil always thought this sounded funny. He'd imagine Aunt Rasha sitting at a desk, wrapping box after box of, in colorful paper. Packaging engineers use their knowledge of math, of science and math, and their creativity to design packages for all types of objects. How could we put that in our own words, Gage? Uh, Come with that. Math and science to, uh, to uh, make the packages and to make the packages and send them to different to send them to different countries with food and all sorts of things. Okay. Fadil peered inside the box and saw the amaryllis plant, now shriveled and wilted. What happened? Turn to a neighbor and tell a neighbor, what happened to the plant? Think about why. What happened? What is it? Did that plant get the things that it needed? No. Because she needed to put some holes because some of the light can get inside and some of the air can get inside. Oh my gosh, it hadn't been getting sunlight or water 
So the plant was really starting to, it sounds like it was starting to die a little bit. In the chart below, list how the products were packaged, the functions of the package, and why the functions are important. So what we need to find out, and you're going to be getting a copy, you and a partner are going to be getting a copy of the book, and we're going to be working on our chart while we read. In the souk they saw eggs. How were the eggs packaged? What were they packaged in? What were they packaged in? Cardboard. Was it just flat cardboard? No, it's bumpy cardboard. Like bumpy cardboard, you're right. In bumpy cardboard. So what's the function of the package of the bumpy of the, the bumpier cardboard? Corey, why did they put the eggs in the bumpy cardboard? To keep the eggs from breaking. Could we just use one word for that instead of to keep them from breaking? What do you think, Luz? To do what? To be protected. So why is the why is it important? that the function of the egg carton, or the egg package, is to protect them. Why is it important? Because eggs are fragile. What about the cucumbers? How are the cucumbers, how are the cucumbers packaged? Over top of each other. They were over the top of each other, but they were also... In a box. In a box, exactly. What do you think the function was? If they were just in a box, what were they in a box for? Why were they just in a box, Elijah? So they would be fresh. I don't know if the box is going to keep them fresh. Luz, what do you think? Because they don't need much protection. Like the they don't need much protection. They just need to be kind of held in one place, don't they? So they're not rolled all over the floor. Your task with your partner, fill out the next two rows. These packages don't just hold the bottles. They also tell us something about larger size. That tells you why each one of the, the, these peaches is that with paper for cushioning. Ah, so which one? Where is that going to fit in here? Where is that going to fit? Awesome, good job. It says, do you think packages are a kind of technology and why or why not? Yes. Let's think about this for a minute. In the ask step, where did they go that they asked questions about what they're going to need to design their package? I mean, he just kind of said it right there. They talked about what plants need, right? So that's one of the questions that they asked. They asked, and Ms. Coyle's going to write this down, so watch her. What do plants need? This is where you're going to be writing this down on your sheet. So what you're seeing Ms. Coyle write on the screen is what you'll write down. They did something else to ask questions too. They went somewhere. What'd they do? They went to the sink and looked at packaging. Awesome. I love how he said that. They went to the soup and looked at packaging. That create step. What did they do? He created like a box for the plants. So it can like send water in there. There's one more step. Improve. I want you to think back on the improve step. What did they have to do to their original package design? If the plant was in there, it would probably stay it would probably like fall down. Oh, to like support the plant a little bit better. Okay. What else did they do? You said something about it too. Didn't you say the plant, the first plant almost died? Okay, the first package didn't work. So they had to Ooh, improve. improve it. So the first thing we can say is the original package didn't work because, and Cecilia, you said this, what happened to the plant? It almost died. It almost died because the plant almost died. Because it needed nutrients. Was it, the plant wasn't getting its needs met, was it? No, it still did, couldn't get air, couldn't get water, couldn't get sunlight. Aunt Rasha reached out and ruffled Fadil's hair. I can see those ideas blooming already. So even now, at the end of the story, he's still thinking about that engineering design process. Asking questions, imagining, planning, creating, and going back and improving. Is he already thinking about improving his package? Yeah. Yes. So do you think it was a good idea for Fadil and Bashira to use the engineering design process? Yes. yes. Turn to a neighbor and tell them why. Isaiah, share with everybody what you just said. 
I said they tested it um overnight so it would improve. So they um kept making packages and more flowers. Too. How do you think that'll help them with these cells? Because they can do more research. I am the third grade reading teacher, and my other teammate is the third grade math and science teacher. So that's how I end up teaching the reading and, and literacy and writing. Roosevelt Perry is a high poverty school. We're located in the middle of an urban area in Louisville and our population is about 98 percent free and reduced lunch so we are in a very high poverty area. Very racially diverse group and we have many ESL students. It's definitely important to set the context before they would go down and just to work in the technology playground and make the packages. They've got to have some kind of way to I guess get a get a feel for what it, what the what they're doing. You know, I mean, you can't just do something cold. What I try to do with the vo like, for instance, the vocabulary would be to have the students the first few times find the vocabulary word in the text with the student and try to use the context of the text to tell what the vocabulary is, or for them to find the meaning of the vocabulary word, which is something that they really need to know to be a good reader. The author's not always going to point out to you that this is what airs means that it. It was the wedding festival, okay, so we have to kind of look at the text and realize from the context, okay, this is what this word means. The same thing with the souk. The souk was a little easier to figure out because the picture was there, so they had picture clues for that one, but to, to teach the children to go back and look at the text, use the context clues to figure out what the meaning of vocabulary words are, whether in a gift from Fadil or in another story that they're reading. With giving the students the, the, the book to follow along with, it's a lot easier for the students to actually follow along with you than to be looking up at, at a smart board screen. And that way they can take some cooperative, a little bit of cooperative learning where they're working together with their elbow partner while we're reading or while they're working on, for instance, the, the rest of the vocabulary page or the engineering design process or the trip to the soup where they have to both look together and go back and look through. Take your time and go through all the lessons and make sure if you need to make any changes to fit what you do in your classroom or what your district or state requires, it's easy to do that. I mean, it's easy to go in and make, make changes, you know, and it's, it's, not something, it's not set in stone.